Good evening to everyone. At this lesson, I will tell you about new version of Zond ST 3D software. We just redesigned it and made a lot of new functions and we change a solver to more faster and more stable. So most of functions came from 2D software, so it's both as well as 2D. But uh, I will show you just a brief uh, workflow for one uh, complicated situation for uh, cross border hole serving. But first, I would like to show you that uh, you can uh, process 2D and 3D data in 3D software, tomographic. It's uh, no problem with it. So, for example, I have here uh, one array, and here I can choose one or more line. In this case, I, it's just one. So it's 2D situation. And what I can see to this section, my travel time for this and model. So work is pretty same like in 2D software, but of course it's not so fast. And uh, accuracy of calculation is affected a lot. Uh, so let me change some settings. And, and here we go. So you can process your 2D data set and 3D software, but I strongly recommend use 2D software for 2D processing. So now we have model. And it's the same for all planes along profile. Okay, and this is travel time curve is uh, measured, picked, and predicate. So next, I'll show you how to process uh, data set cross board call because it's much complicated situation, especially for Corby line red ball holes and when it's many pairs of ball holes in one project. So I will open uh, one file I have uh, and it's already, it's sequoia and it's already contains first pigs. It's special uh, segue file from Gear Device Company. They provide it to me. They are manufacturer of different geophysical instruments. Uh, so first I'll go to uh, file settings. It's Gear Device Data, special cross holes. And as I remember, uh, they keep Breaks in 181 byte. So now I can open my project. Oh, it's not a project, it's file. So I see here some travel time for this already picked. This is a difference between uh, 2D and 3D. Section we can see uh, uh, our survey layout in 3D, and of course, everything is 3D. Next, two very important step for every 3D project we should set up survey type. Uh, when I loaded this uh, get device data file, it's already choose to cross border hole, but in case um, you use another file, you should, uh, it's very important to choose a proper uh, survey type. 
also it is very important to set survey indexing here i can see uh area of bulk and i can switch to yz plane now i can choose my uh receiver line or lines and source line so it's uh very helpful to uh choose uh these lines because your seismograms will looks and trail time chorus will be, looks like much better so for example i can combine uh, shots because here is not combined and now i can uh, apply the same group and sort procedures for example here is gaza is okay now i can see how it should be so of course everything is hinted it's, this is active trace and active source position and active line well now i can go to inversion because uh, i already uh, have all that picked and it's asked me to confirm that it's cross ball hole survey so here is some a mesh constructor made for me mesh but because this is projection of uh uh, my boreholes to x y plane it's not good for me so i will use just regular uh, settings and i use manual splitting of my model it is very very important to have all your receivers and sources inside the model for example i can see here this is uh, equal scale mode and now i can choose uh, age of model with alt pressed k now i can rebuild my mesh yes now it looks much better maybe a little less point along the x-axis we can choose this is 10 11 meters here and just a three meters so maybe it will be even this okay now we can check how our new mesh looks like in 3d and how our receivers and sources are incorporated to this model so now it looks okay so i can confirm and, and i can see my travel time progress again to the section and cut off model so now i can do modeling or inversion or for example i like to uh, use 1d model uh, starting for inversion so it's for cross ball false case 1d inversion for all this data can take time so it should wait maybe 15 20 seconds because it's a thousand of measurement and now it's calculated of course in a normal scale it looks like much better uh, 
like plus is a better tool than this. So let's check how one Z solution uh, fit in in our uh, peak data. Yes, of course, calculation in 3D to takes much more time than it's in uh, 2D. So it's uh, especially depends on a currency parameter. Uh, you can choose uh, if you need uh, much more uh, currency. Of course, it will take more memory and it's much more time consuming, but your result was much better, much better with it. So, okay, calculation done. It's only 1.5% of misfit. So we can even show race. It's not that good because the currency is not so well. It's only five by default. So now for inversion, we can choose. Let's me check our apparent velocities. So it should be about six, maybe kilometers and after that we can uh, there here is a currency parameter I recommend for real project like a 10 10 points per site per per direction but of course it will uh, take more time and memory so next step we just can uh, run inversion but i will not because uh, it's just a very brief uh, presentation but i i would say that uh, one iteration of inversion is not uh, not so different in time as forward from forward model so it's pretty same like forward model so maybe one iteration we can do and i will start with half space let's just see what 3d inversion can make for this model so you can see her progress uh, it's mainly about forward modeling because here is a lot of sources and it's calculated not so quick as we want. So. One good thing about 3D and 2D for seismic, uh, it's not depending on our mesh. So it's not necessary to keep our receivers in mesh nodes or something like that. So it's completely in independent. And just one uh, condition we should keep our receivers and sources inside our model. So very soon we can, uh, we will see uh, first iteration result. Well, this is first iteration. It's already four dot one percent 
misfit. So maybe I will even wait for next. Uh, another thing we can stop uh, inversion anytime. So uh, it's not necessary to wait until end of all uh, this process. So I stopped 3D inversion. Of course, we need more iteration to get better misfit. And it will take a time. Thank you very much for your attention. And I'll see you soon on next video lessons.